Hi guys, Officer Chris Osick from the Colorado Springs Police Department Crime Prevention Unit. Today is another Crime Prevention Thursday. Uh, one thing about crime prevention that we don't talk about too much is preparedness and how to be physically prepared before anything even happens. Now September is National Preparedness Month and so I want to talk a little bit about an emergency preparedness bag and how you can be prepared for anything that you may face, whether it's crime or some sort of natural disaster or something like that. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the bag itself. Personally, I like to get a bag that is big enough to hold all of the items that I need, but small enough to where I can actually uh, take it with me if I have to go on foot and I can't take my vehicle or anything like that and it's not too heavy. So it's a smaller messenger bag that I have here. It allows me to attach items on the outside and it still allows me a good deal of space on the inside. Now for the items inside the bag, I've switched them into three categories, which I feel are most important. The first one is gonna be your uh, first aid or survival items. So a tourniquet is always good to have, especially if uh, you're in an area that's very hostile, if you get shot, if you get attacked, or even if you're just out in the woods by yourself and you get a cut, you may need this to save your life. With that, we have some sort of clotting sponge or something that has a clotting agent, and you can put that in the wound itself, follow the instructions here, and that will help you better uh, seal the wound until you can get emergency care. Now, a proper first aid kit is going to be very important as well. As you can see in here, I have everything that you may need from tweezers to bandages to uh, gloves and things of that nature. So not only can I take care of any cuts, bruises, anything with these, but I can also do it here and I'm better prepared in that manner. The second category is going to be food and water. Okay, You are going to want some way to sustain yourself until you can get a more reliable source. These right here are field stripped MREs. It's something I carry on me personally and they allow me to um, get my energy up until I can find something that I can better supply myself with. You can also use anything freeze dried or something of that nature where the food can last for a long period of time. These water sources up here, carrying water with you is actually, it's very heavy and it's not gonna do you very well when you're trying to um, move away from a natural disaster or something of that nature. So these allow you to actually drink what's around you. You have a, a straw that has a filter inside and you can um, put it in a stream, you can drink out of it, you can put it into a cup of water that may not be safe to drink and that's something that allows you to do that. These right here are little tablets that you can put in water. It makes it taste a little funny, but at the same time, it will make it safe to drink. Now, finally, the third category that I wanna talk about, these are your survival items, okay? Number one of which, which is very important, you want a cell phone charger. In natural disasters, a lot of times, you're not able to uh, keep a charge on your phone for very long because you're calling family, you're trying to figure things out, whatever, you want this so you can charge up your cell phone. A good knife is always good to have on you or some sort of tool, an emergency tool, and that way you can have it for self-defense or if you need to use it in a survival scenario, it is there for you. A way to start fire, so a lighter is always gonna be good to have. Uh, a little bit of extra money. So this is a little wallet that I like to keep in my uh, emergency preparedness bag. And that allows me, in case I can't access an ATM or the card readers go down at my local store, I have this and I can uh, barter that. Now, we have a survival shack. Okay, that's something I can put up if I'm in the middle of the woods, I can't get to shelter. We have an emergency poncho, an emergency blanket. All of these things will help me survive, especially in Colorado, where it can get cold uh, very frequently during the winter time. Some clothing items might be a good idea. Here I have some warming gloves and a beanie. And to anyone that's ever been in a situation where you use the bathroom but you don't have toilet paper, it's a good idea to have something like this so that way uh, in case that happens you can wipe your nose or if you go number two you have a, a way to take care of yourself there. Last, I want to talk about a flashlight. Now a flashlight should be a part of every person's everyday carry gear. This one right here is very small, it allows me to um, light up dark areas in case I'm on the move. This is a specialized flashlight that I really like to keep because it has so many different features to it. Um, this is known as a survival flashlight. It does have a window break. It has a seat belt cutter. Um, on the back it has a compass. It actually is a hand crank as well. And not only can I use it as a flashlight, but I can also 
have an emergency light right there, and it can charge my cell phone too. I have a place to charge that in there as well. And since it's hand crank, I can use it as much as I need it. I don't have to worry about the batteries going out. Now, this is not a complete list. If you have something that you need to put in there or you feel is very important, go ahead, add it to your uh, emergency preparedness bag, and that will better prepare you. Uh, one other thing that I wanna pass along is that you do not need to buy all of this at once. Don't save all your money until you have enough to buy everything. Start piecing it together now and that way you'll be better prepared if something happens tomorrow, if something happens next week. And it may take some time, but eventually you will get to a complete emergency preparedness bag. Uh, that is all I have for you today. Again, this is Officer Osik. I look forward to seeing you next Crime Prevention Thursday and we'll see you next time.